Today, we're gonna be doing $3,400 in production, doing one service called Liquid Fall Aeration. I'm gonna be jumping in the truck all day with Austin to show you how this can happen. Follow me. Hey, Austin, guess what? What? I'm joining you in your truck today. Are you really? Yeah, man. We're gonna rock some Liquid Fall Aerations. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, I'm man. Ready. The first thing you want to do before you actually get out there is you want to go onto the computer and take some time to make sure that the route that you're going to be doing for the day is super efficient. We want the least as many stops in between houses and the least amount of drive time because if you're driving between houses, that's called windshield time. You don't get paid for windshield time. If there's one thing that's really going to kill your business is profit and lawn care, it's the time that yourself or your technicians are driving in the truck because you're not able to actually charge. If you live work. in Canada and you're in the dirt life, a mandatory stop every single morning is a good old Timmy's. The boys absolutely love donuts and they burn probably 3,000 calories a day walking. So we got to load them up. Okay. So Austin, $3,400 in production today. What's the game plan? All right. So game plan is... We were looking for speed. Just get in, you spray, you get out. Typically, you're in and out before clients even know you're there. So that's the game plan today. As much as Austin would like it, I am not going to help him in the field today. I want to show you guys that $3,400 can be done with one guy. I'm doing majority of the sales today. So I'm going to have my, all, my laptop, my AirPods, and everything going in here, doing calls during the day, keeping the recording happening, and I'll do as much as we can to show Austin in action. We use our regular truck with our weed control sprayer. So what we have here is a mechanical four-stroke engine, our hose, and then we have a 200-gallon tank on every single truck, which can easily handle 30 to 35 jobs per day in the actual applications of it. So it doesn't take much. The same tank that you use for the weed control works for this service. All right, guys, the set time is 7.37 a.m. We just finished our first job. It was going to the next house. It is three minutes away. And the only way Austin's gonna finish this route today is as long as those houses are stayed nice and tight together. So only three-ish minutes per drive for all 38 houses is what's gonna be needed. I liquid fall aeration versus mechanical fall aerations. Well, let's talk about some pros and cons of each. When it comes to a mechanical aerator, think about it. This is like a 300 pound clunky machine. It is actually quite difficult to get 100% coverage on a lawn. You're more so when it comes to the plugs actually happening on the lawn, you can only really cover so much of the lawn where the so many areas can ne inevitably get missed unless you spend hours and hours on the lawn doing the whole thing. Liquid aeration though, we can easily apply an application to 100% of the lawn. So what are you checking for? Uh, I'm always just checking for notes. You know, at the beginning of the job, you got to find out if there's any special conditions. Maybe it's a front yard only. Maybe it's a must knock beforehand. Maybe, you know, they just put down sod. So you just got to be careful about certain areas. We're just looking for customer preferences, making sure that, you know, we make the customers as happy as possible. So double checking addresses, you know, that kind of stuff. Just trying to limit the amount of mistakes that you can. And just like that, done. How long was that? About two minutes. There's a several reasons why we have moved to liquid fall aeration. We never did a full switch where we went from all mechanical aerations to liquid fall aerations, but we did change our aerations in several stages. First and foremost, we used to only do mechanical aerations in the spring. So the first transition we made was going from spring to fall aerations. Several reasons for that. The, the two reasons in particular that we made the choice was one, weeds germinate, germinate in the spring. And at, when we aerate in the spring, we can really open up lawns. Yes, for seed to grow, but also for weeds to really start to thrive. We always found the lawns that got aerated in the fall struggled with leads, weeds way less than the ones that we did in the spring. That's one reason. Second reason why we changed to the fall is because of the schedule. In the spring, we are so busy doing the first application of fertilize, the first application of weed control, and getting to houses as soon as possible. Where in the fall, the schedule starts to relax a little bit then we have the time to, there's also other benefits why to aerate in the fall the cooler temperatures the highest time the best time of the year for seeds to germinate all these things just made sense for us transition from spring to fall third reason you don't need to worry about irrigation heads when you're doing a liquid fall aeration the homeowner does not need to mark their sprinkler heads for the actual um, machine to come out because there's no chance of anything bumping into them like a mechanical aerator going into the lawn normally would the fourth and last reason why you should do a liquid aeration instead 
instead of mechanical aeration is because there is no risk of spreading disease. A mechanical aerator going from one lawn to the next lawn to the next lawn, it could spread a problem from one lawn to the next, kind of like an STD. Where a liquid aeration, when we spread, uh, we just spray onto the lawn, there is no cross-contamination happening. It's a full application happening on a separate occasion, and there's not a machine going in from one problem potentially to the next. So the combination of small lawns and very close density allows Austin, now he's on number 19 of the day out of the 38. And what time is it? It is 9.43 a.m. So we are on track right now, but we got to keep hustling. Austin's jogging out there, sprinting in between them. Uh, when he's on the lawn, he just goes at a steady pace, but also we have very tight density, usually one minute drives or so. This one looks like Guys, sometimes we get to a lawn and there's toys and bikes out on someone's property. Take the time to pick up the toys, pick up the debris, so that you can do an effective job. The homeowner appreciates it. All right, it is 10.25, just about 10.30. We are currently going to stop 25 of 38. So it's only been three and a half hours and we're almost done our day. We're about to hit double date, it's here. And uh, so we should be getting done before 12 o'clock today. And then we'll be in a position to help out the rest of the team. So we left Austin. It is currently 10.53. We only have 10 left, double digits, baby. Now it's just time to grind these out. 38, so we should have about five left. Pretty good for 11.30. Not bad, you can see the depot at the bottom. Love to see it. There is a huge problem going on called chinch bugs. So what we've done is we printed off these flyers to give to neighbors if we do see chinch bugs within lawns. So we keep it as a door hanger. Very simple, give us a call, scan it and get a quote. Uh, and we do a $25 off referral discount, but chinch bugs are a huge thing that actually keep us very busy in late July, August, and most of September, because it's a bug that gets absolutely crazy around that time in Calgary. It sucks the juices from the blades of grass, injects a toxin and then kills off the lawn. So we gotta make sure that we treat those as well. Austin's doing some work. You can see here, this lawn, major chinch bug issue. So he's putting down his red flag right now. The flags say urgent uh, chinch bugs found. Austin, I see a little smile on your face. Why is that? We're at the last house of my route. Last house, 12.05. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we've been zooming. Let's get it. Number 38 out of 38, let's get it. Austin, we had a bet that he couldn't finish the jobs by one o'clock, and he did, so treating him to Boogie's Burger here. Good stuff there. Enjoy, Austin, you deserve it. Let's Thanks, go. buddy. Thank you so much for joining us. Liquid fall aerations all the way, guys. We still do some mechanical aerations because some people don't want to make that switch, but we're trying to, we have about 85% of our clients doing those liquid fall aerations now, and people are really enjoying it, actually. So there you have it. In one day with the liquid fall aerations, we're able to do $3,400 in production. When you have an application or a service where it's just a liquid spray, all you have to do is really blanket spray the lawn. And you can find that if you have tight density, you can get lawns done in between three and six minutes per um, job, essentially, to really get that happening. And that can really increase production. Services like this really make me think, you know what, I wouldn't actually mind exploring using liquid uh, fertilizers because we right now we use granular and it takes a lot longer to do an application like that but if we were able to do liquid aeration or sorry liquid fertilizers liquid weed control at the same time i think that'd be pretty awesome i'm very curious to hear if any of you guys use liquid fertilizers i'd love to hear all about that but i really enjoyed making that video thank you so much for staying with us until the very end quick reminder my name is james this is the Dirt Life channel. We own a company called Yard Dogs here in Canada. We do about $2 million in sales. And we have this whole channel is just meant to document our journey as we try to build a uh, lawn care company that we're very proud of and worth sharing. And I want to help you with your business, really helping it to the next level so that you can learn from the mistakes that we have made along the way. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have any experience using liquid fertilizer. I'd love to hear about it. But thank you so much for joining us.